In this lecture, I'll show you how to use the range node, this one right here under function. So the range node is like the map function in the Arduino programming language. It takes a number uh, which belongs in a particular scale or range and it will map it into a new number in a new range. So in this example here, I've got the scale node that takes in a number that belongs in the range of 0 to 1023. This could be perhaps an analog input uh, in an Arduino, and then it will convert that into a number that belongs in a range between 0 and 100. It's just mapping. You can choose uh, these three options as well as to how you'd like this mapping to take place. And I've gone for scale and limit to the target range. All right, so for input, I'm just typing in a number. And then for the output, I'm showing both the raw input and the scaled output or the scaled number. All right, deploy that. And let's start with maxed out 1023, which is the top of the range. And 1023 becomes 100. What about say um, 500 for the input deploy? and 500 becomes 48.87. I can round this to an integer if I don't want to have the decimals. And that now would look like this. 500 becomes 49. If I go beyond the scale, so let's say I make that 1,500. Let's see what happens. It. Uh, still comes in as 1,500, but the output is at the max 100 of the range. And I suspect the same thing is going to happen if I go for a value below the bottom end of the input range. So that's a zero. All right, so this is very useful, especially when you work with numbers that have a limited input and a limited output, and they are numbers in different ranges. And I'll be using this in our project to scale the analog input that comes from the ESP32 for the humidity of the soil into a number from 0 to 100, again, to represent humidity in terms of a percentage.